Welcome to Electra Online. So the question, does the galaxy have, or our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, have a magnetic field? And it turns out the answer is yes, but it's not a very strong magnetic field. And to compare it to the field of the Earth, the Earth's magnetic field is around 5 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas, about 50 micro teslas. T stands for teslas. And thus, it by itself, not a bad magnetic field that protects us against the solar winds. In other words, it's strong enough to divert the solar wind particles that come towards us at hundreds if not thousands of miles per second. But the magnetic field of the galaxy is not nearly as powerful. It's only about one million the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. And so therefore, the magnetic field of the galaxy is around 5 times 10 to the minus 11 teslas. Minus 11, that's like 50 nano teslas. So it's a very weak magnetic field. And it's caused by, of course, the rotation of the galaxy. All those, all those electrons and protons that are moving around in our galaxy does cause a uniform magnetic field. But what can it do? Can it have a dynamic effect? In other words, does it have enough forces involved or associated with it that it could push things around? And the answer is no. It doesn't really change the speed or the velocity or the motion of any particles, by and large, in our solar system. It doesn't move them. It doesn't give them extra velocity. But what it could do for the very small particles, it could actually align them because if there's metal inside the dust particles, well, those dust particles then would be affected by the magnetic field and all of them would then turn into a similar direction. And it turns out that we do notice, we do observe polarized starlight. And starlight can only be polarized if it goes through a uniform structure or a bunch of, ga a bunch of particles that are all aligned in the same way that then causes like a polarizing sheet. And so, for example, we observe starlight coming through to us from a very distance, from a large distance away. And if in between there is some particles containing metal that are all aligned in a certain direction, that light will indeed be polarized. So something must be setting those particles up in a certain direction to cause that polarization. And yes, because the interstellar dust particles do have rotational motion, that rotational motion does interact with the magnetic field that causes then the particles to align in such a way that it then causes the polarization. So we do see some effects of the magnetic field. However, they're small and they're not dynamic effects because they don't affect the motion of the stars or could explain why things are moving faster than they should be moving at the very far edges of the galaxy. It's definitely not a solution for that. So yes, there are some effects. We can, we can observe them, but they're minor in aspect. And that's what we know about the magnetic field of our galaxy. So does the magnetic field go through the galaxy? It's permeating the galaxy, that's correct. It's not like Earth where the galaxy well, field. all magnetic fields have a circular loop. So yes, so we have a circle loop because of the rotation of the of the galaxy. So we have kind of a similar structure. So it goes through the earth? Yes, it goes the magnetic field goes through the earth around so through the earth around the other side. So we should actually connect these inside. Right? So magnetic fields are circular, are complete loops. You cannot have that's the answer to you cannot have a monopole for a magnetic pole. They always have to be north and south. So are the magnetic fields in the Earth always go through the middle? So there's no lines on the outside or the edge? So yes, you would have weaker and weaker and weaker lines as you go to the edges, stronger lines in the middle. So towards the middle you would have stronger magnetic field lines, towards the edge you would have weaker magnetic field lines. So yeah, I don't know what the structure of the field looks like. I should go look that up and see what that looks like because I don't really know what the structure looks like. Something like the Earth? Something like the Earth, but I'm not going to draw it because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> I should go look it up. I should go look up and see what the actual st the, the structure is, if they know what it is. But yeah, I would assume that it's probably something that kind of goes around like that. And, and so, but. Not 100% sure. So I'll protect myself from gross mistakes like that.